Okay, uh, we're back for uh, part four of Let's Play King's Quest One original. Okay, so we got our little golden walnut. Um, so let's go north next. And actually, it was... oh no, 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 not the dwarf again. No, and I got a far ways to go. I'm not by the side of the screen. He's probably gonna get me. There's a small dwarf close by. It would be a good idea to be careful. Yes, I know that. Oh, he goes way too fast. That's cheating. Hacks. <laughs> it's a good thing you're protected by this fellow. Oh, phew. I forgot about that. That little dwarf likes to steal treasures. Ah, man, I hate that damn dwarf. Uh, it also got me in King's Quest 2, and I did the Let's Play through for that. Yeah, what's really annoying uh, is when he comes in the cave after you defeat the giant. That's, oh my god, I hate that. What, what is interesting though is in King's Quest 4, um, dwarves don't steal from you. <laughs> um, they help you instead. Uh, anyways, uh, okay. So here, um, uh, by this river here. Actually, let me save it just to be safe here. Okay, um, we're supposed to, uh, let's look at, is it going to understand sand? No, okay, look at river, the river is dangerous and powerful and there's a delta of pebbles on its edge. Okay, so there we go, it tells me what I need to be interested in. Okay, so get pebbles, grab a handful of pebbles, and you get points for doing that. So next time you're out taking a hike, grab some pebbles and you'll have points magically added to your life. Okay, where do I need to go? Um, there's a castle diamond tree there. Oh, you best be careful, young Graham. The mystic protective spell of mine has weakened and departed. Oh, I did all of a sudden use you. You best be careful. Uh, supposedly, most the, the King's Quest games didn't really use that old English. One of the things about King's Quest Eight was, or one of the things they threw around as a great feature of the game is that they were using old English in it, which it's kind of half-assed, but okay. Anyways, you have King uh, Castle Daventry there, um, and some trees. Um, and a mushroom over there that you need to get later. But you can't just cross over this river. Um, you have to take a bird. Later on, you have to take a bird over there to the other side. And uh, then get that mushroom. Uh, incidentally, that bird is... Uh, and this location um, is the river that shows up in King's Quest V. It's true. I'm, not, I'm just making that out right now. And that tree over there, too. That's where you meet Cedric. This is a famous tree. Okay? So remember that. No, I'm not. I, don't, I just made that up. I don't really know. But it must be somewhere in this map. Maybe you can find that location somewhere here when we do this Let's Play. Um, anyways, where am I going now? I think I'm going west a lot. Let's stay near the bottom, though, so nothing gets us. Oh, watch out. There is a ogre nearby. He will crush you in his strong arms if he catches you. So, heed that warning. If you do not heed that warning, then you will not only die, but you will suffer uh, not only his strong arms, but also uh, Kenner Roberta's bad, bad puns. Actually, I really love that pun when it gets you. Uh, maybe we're going to have to actually let it kill us here. By saving, and then uh, let's go ahead and let it capture us. And it's stuck behind the flowers. Let it be known that ogres are defeated by flowers. Okay, but let's let it actually get us. You are warned to be careful around the fierce creature. Maybe next time you will be able to elude the beast. What? Is it only the remake? Ah, oh, 
damn, I thought it was in this one too. That sucks. Uh, we at Sierra wish to thank you for playing the King's Quest. We are pleased to see that you are doing so well and hope that your score will keep improving. I wonder if that's actually dynamic where it's keeping track of my score as far as the message goes. That's retarded though. I really wanted that message where it says, We warned you, ogre and ogre again. But no, I guess I guess not. Yes, we're I'm really disappointed. Okay. So let's go ahead and restore Oh that just that just missed my whole day. I'm not saved by the everlasting grace of uh Roberta and Ken's uh, puns. Ugh, I'm doomed. Anyways, we'll look. Uh, Graham is brave. He'll venture on, anyways. Incidentally, um, going back to the Cedric reference, um, <clears throat> and King Graham and uh, King's Quest Five going to Serenia. This is King's Quest 1, but there's actually a King's Quest 0, if nobody knew about that. And it's not some remake or anything. Um, I mentioned this in one of my Let's Plays for The Wizard and Princess. They, uh, the Wizard and Princess, for the, originally for the Apple II, was actually, according to Roberta herself, is the prequel to King's Quest series. So it's actually King's Quest 0. Uh, if you're interested, check out my Let's Play for The Wizard and the Princess. It's even more antiquated graphics than this, but... So, I, I like the game overall. It's really great. You gotta check out. It's actually the pictures of the, like, the princess. is really great. Um, she's really hot. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, check it out if you want to. But yeah, that's... Uh, King's Quest uh, Zero is the wizard and the princess, and um, because we're better said so. And and in King's Quest Five, uh, Serenia, the land you go to, is the place that the events take place in the Wizard and Princess. Uh, they have the town and everything. They even have the probably the same boat that King Graham uses. Um, it has an actual hole in it, too. Okay. Okay, so we're in the, wait, I guess this is the woodcutters, let's see, let's look, let's try to look. You need to be more specific, look, room. Cottage is run down and sparsely furnished. The only nice possessions seem to be the fiddle in the corner. Can we just go take the fiddle? I mean, King Graham feels free to take everything else, why can't I just take the fiddle? You need to be careful with that little black spot there. That's a hole in the floor that you can actually die by falling into that. Let me just try. Take fiddle. Maybe I should just save to be safe. You never know with these games. You cannot take their last precious possession. If they're so hungry and stuff, why not like sell their fiddle to get like probably more than just one bowl of soup. Okay, fill. Just say fill. The bowl fills with delicious stew, but the woodcutters are unaware of it. Okay. Oh, did I just screw up there because I did it before I gave it to them? Maybe. Who cares? <laughs> talk. Uh, talk to woodcutter. Welcome to my humble abode. That's awesome animation for when they're talking. They have to wave. I always wave my arms around too when I talk. Like that. Like sideways. Like a crab. Okay. Talk to woodcutter. No. Talk to woman. She replies, I'd like to offer you something, but we do not even have food for ourselves. And then she moves in an upward kind of direction. That's kind of cool. Okay, so give soup. Give bowl. The woodcutter family is very grateful that you have given them a bowl of stew. Now they will have at least one last meal. As a token of their gratitude, they offer the last earthly possession, the woodcutter's fiddle. And they're so happy about that. 
I guess it's a pretty big bowl, so it might last longer. Anyways, um, it's time to end this video, and I'm gonna take their last earthly possession and just leave them to die with their last supper. So, uh, let's go ahead and take take fiddle. And uh, the polished wood feels like satin. It's, uh, it seems to still vibrate from the last song it played. Or vibrating for other reasons. Anyways, that's the end of this video. So, we'll be back next time.